What's good everyone, Gberg Stacks here coming out the woodworks to bring a video on patch 14.10 because there's a lot of cool items coming in and there's some things that people haven't really talked about. So I'll be going over, you know, a couple, probably most of these items in the ADC category and then maybe I'll go over this uh, Overlord's Blood Mail. Haven't really looked into it too much. That's a new tank item and then there's uh, the Blackfire Torch. Uh, there's nothing new in the assassin category and the fighter category they just got like some updates on some items so did like tanks uh, i don't think mages got touched that much but uh, neither did assassins but yeah so let's start with let's start with infinity edge right this is an item that pretty much every champion will now go because they did end up getting rid of navori in terms of the ad like of what it once was right they ended up transforming it into an attack speed item now they ended up transforming it into a zeal item right so now it's 2600 instead of competing with infinity edge now you can buy the bow for them right now you can get that navori plus infinity edge that you could have before but now it's just instead of giving you massive ad it gives you attack speed which some champions might be okay with some won't but if we look at Infinity Edge, it's still 3,400, but now it gives 80 AD, 25% crit chance, and 50% critical strike damage, right? So the 25% crit chance goes to all the crit items in the game, right? We're talking about uh, Infinity Edge, Mortal Reminder, uh, Lord Doms, Phantom Dancer, Runans, Navori, Rapid Fire Cannon, Shield Bow, this new item, Yuntal's Wind Arrows, Essence Reaver, collector and that's it as you can see i went over some items that no longer give crit which is bloodthirster no more crit mercurials no more crit static shiv no more crit and then uh crack and slayer no more crit okay so people are already speculating that infinity edge will be like the first purchase which i think is completely correct especially if you're gonna be a crit user Kraken Slayer no longer giving crit means that it's not really going to scale that well with, you know, other crit builds. Which is kind of annoying because it's still a really amazing item, right? You, you see it gives 50 AD, 40% attack speed, which are amazing stats. 7% move speed, another amazing stat. And then the passive, which is always good. But it not giving crit, does that mean that people will skip out on this item, right? Because buying... Kraken Slayer into Infinity Edge, right? That one out of four chance that you do end up auto, uh, critting is going to hurt a lot because you have like 130 AD. But when you have Infinity Edge, you want more crit chance. So is a build going to be Kraken Slayer into Infinity Edge? Maybe on some champions, right? Somebody like Yasuo who will end up getting 60% uh, crit from this item or Yone, you know, uh, or Trindamir. That This might be a build. But outside of these champions that end up getting that, more than likely, you're either, you know, you're probably not going Kraken Slayer anymore. So Tristana, Jinx, you know, Lucian, champions that just used to buy Kraken Slayer because it was super duper good, probably are throwing it away for Infinity Edge. And the only people who are going to be building Kraken Slayer will more than likely be champions who don't end up building crit you know so Callista, kogma varus champions of that nature there's probably more i don't know if twitch twitch probably doesn't even buy this item we'll see it's still a really strong item but is it stronger than infinity edge on some champions probably but on a lot of champions that like crit that scale with crit probably no right and then the second item that people are, are really thinking that it is going to be like super strong is Phantom Dancer. And if you look at it, 2600 for 60% attack speed, the crit chance, and 12% movement speed. And then when you auto attack, you become ghosted. Or I think you're just ghosted all the time. You're just, which means that you just walk through minions. This is an amazing item, right? For 6,000 gold, you spike insanely hard. One thing to note though. Is that lethal tempo is out the game which means that adc champions or auto attack based champions especially the crit based one they're going to be heavily reliant on items more so 
in this coming patch which means their early game isn't going to feel as good some champions that don't have like you know a lot of kill pressure right that maybe to be honest let me let me not even talk about that because i have no idea about the game in that regard because i have not played this game as much as it would take to even have a basis on that right well if we just look at stats i think that's something i can definitely you know something whatever right so yeah people are saying ie and phantom dancer together is going to be the one-two punch you know you're talking about jinx you're talking about tristana you're talking about these hyper carry type champions right uh twitch i think twitch just got nerfed even somebody like draven would probably go this right one thing you have to do though because these other zeal items are also 2600 right you you gotta think which one's gonna be better for me when why and where right obviously phantom dancer will forever just because of the stats it will be the best the only one in contention for this would be navori but it would be the best single target damage item for a lot of champions champions that specifically do not need or have no synergy with navori right so we're talking about jinx twitch yeah yeah twitch uh draven stuff like that right but for champions that are like tristana where she gains the bonus attack speed on her Q and just having that up infinitely will probably be better. And then like having more bombs with her E probably be better to to have Navori, even though you do lose like that 20% initial uh, attack speed and then the 5% move speed, which is wild. I feel like maybe Phantom Dancer should be nerfed in the move speed category at the very least. But besides that, I think uh, it's probably fine given that there's no lethal tempo in the game but yeah lucian i don't know if lucian will build navori well i think it's a good item on lucian i just don't know if people will build it on him right obviously it, it gives that navori passive right that transcendence but are people going to build him with the attack speed right do people care about that it's like at level 13 when you have your e maxed with navori you end up being able to e auto q auto and then your e is right back up which is amazing, right? He, he once used to have that. I don't know if people are going to take advantage of that. We'll see. But yeah, champions that, that use abilities don't necessarily know other ones. Uh, maybe Ash. I think they, they did something with her Q that ends up making Navori pretty decent in that regard. But I don't know. I doubt it, right? Uh, but then obviously Runans, depending on the game, if they have a lot of melee champions... Or if you're in a lot of champions that will end up being in your range in order to get hit by the Runan's bolt, this item is still extremely strong. And then it has synergy with a different item that we'll, we'll talk about after we get through Rapid Fire Cannon, which I think is probably going to be the item that's going to be left out once again. Right? Not only does it have the worst stats, right? Even the Vori has 5% more attack speed, but the passive is only 60 bonus magic damage right that hasn't changed but then the 35 percent bonus attack range obviously still gives its uses right if there are games where you know the the way that people play lucian nami is specifically in pro play if those you know the team comps that they like picking lucian nami into continue to be played this will probably continue to at least be played by that specific champion by lucian there's probably no other champion that that will buy it maybe a draven or something in in those same spots where maybe lucian's banned or something right a draven another like stomper but stuff like that maybe this item will continue to exist i don't know uh but back to runans right so the bolts if we look at the passives it says the bolts apply on hit effects and can critically strike so keep that in mind because if we go to the new item yunto wild arrows right it has crit synergy that's specifically what it means or the what the summary of it i don't know that's that's some word that i forget but right you're 65 ad 25 percent crit chance you're looking at those stats and you're like ah that's not the best right this this is like infinity edge light right it doesn't give you the the percent or the the bonus critical strike damage rate but what it does give you is this passive where your critical hits apply a stacking bleed, right? Which not only scale off your bone, it scales off your total AD. Okay, so 
the more levels you get the stronger this gets and then obviously the more items you get the stronger this gets right so why does this have synergy with runans because on games where you're pro you're going infinity edge then runans uh you know more than likely you'll get lord dominix right but as a fourth item if you're trying to get 25 if you're trying to get 100 percent critical strike chance you have a few options right you can end up getting another attack speed item you know if that's gonna help you these are really good items right you get a lot of bonus movement speed you can get rune ends and phantom dancer and you have 19 percent bonus movement speed with zero with zero uh with no boots you end up getting 64 bonus movement speed on a champion that has 335 which is amazing right so on some champions especially if you're trying to go if you're allowed to go six item build that's really strong right but if you're you know a champion that doesn't need another attack speed item right you don't need a mortal shield bow which ends up giving you crit right you don't need that survivability you uh essence river is trash you don't need the collector because there's no champion that would pretty much go these items with collector i don't think it's as good as you would for for this right this is the only other crit item like outside of zeals shield bow collector and then essence reaper so yuntos what makes this item special right so the passive states passive states critical hits apply a stacking bleed and then this the runan's passive states that your bolts apply on hit effects and can critically strike right boom now you're applying the bleed to all the champions that you end up hitting that is incredible right which uh is amazing i want to check something out real quick okay so i was checking out if the ultimate ends up having uh or ends up applying yuntos because samir's ultimate can critically strike but it doesn't so this means that champions that can buy rune or that will buy runans and don't need the extra attack speed from phantom dancer which is like tristana right she basically has phantom dancer aside from the movement speed on her q right uh, you don't need navori right your champion doesn't want to get navori which is probably like ash if you get yuntos you end up dealing massive damage right with the the bonus physical damage that it deals like i'm level nine i mean when you're at four items more than likely you'll be level 16 at the very least right this is 105 damage this is without like actually catering my runes to giving me the most damage possible but it's giving you 105 damage stacking bleed right this means that it's not just 105 damage over two seconds right where you hit them once and then 105 damage that sounds pitiful right this means that the more the faster you attack the more you will be stacking this bleed you see how how it ramps up and it's just going massively fast right it can probably get even faster right especially if you have even more attack speed you know if you're getting two like going up to two percent attack speed or two attacks per second this uh this is gonna be extremely fast so i think this item is very underrated maybe it wasn't read correctly maybe they changed the the wording on it right i don't i don't know but i do think some people are underrating it and i do think it's actually pretty good i don't watch like i don't i barely even watch this game right i don't watch people play it i don't really play it myself i just saw that these new items are coming and i wanted to speak about it right so this item i think is very good obviously on some champions specifically i would like to uh say what's his name am i not on the thing i'm not but there's like a specific champion that can buy this as a second item now that is called lucian because he's someone whose passive is double tap where the second auto attack is basically has the same thing that Runats does, right? The second attack applies on hit effects and can critically strike, which means that if you have IE and Yuntos, since 
Lucian's a champion that doesn't necessarily want attack speed items, right? Unless Navori ends up just being like a better item for the game or something, you're more than likely not buying Rune Dance, you're more than likely not buying Phantom Dancer, more than likely not buying Rapid Fire, right? The only items that you you can get if you want crit while still dealing like a lot of damage, more than likely the Collector is, is an option, uh, and then there's Junto, and then, yeah, Shield Bolt's not really a damage item, right? And neither is Essence Reaver. So you're debating either Collector and Junto, and Junto does work better with the kit, right? Uh, Lethality is completely fine. You'll probably get this third or fourth, depending on the game, but I think Junto would be the best choice, right? So I think that's a champion that can end up buying the second with yeah lucian buying this as a second item beautiful right i think he's probably the only one because there's no other champion that has like you know some type of thing with this but yeah one thing that i am a little disappointed about though is that this doesn't apply on abilities which there's only a specific number of champions that even have like a crit on their ability there's Jin with his ultimate. The fourth shot on his ultimate ends up critting, which he wouldn't even be a good champion to even run this item because it's a stacking bleed, which means the more times you basic attack that crit, it's going to deal more damage, right? And he, he just attacks so slow. It's not good on him. But, you know, I think that would be cool. It, it should be a good item on him because he's one of the champions that gets a super high base ad right some people are able to get like a thousand ad on him which means that at 35 percent of your total ad this should be dealing right 350 damage every single time you crit that is massive but because you don't auto attack that fast is does that you know is that gonna out damage illusion with this item with 100 percent crit is that going to out damage you know an ash or a, a tristana probably not right and then there's Samira, like I just tested, her ultimate, you know, it can crit, each shot can also critically strike, is what it says. But because, you know, this item doesn't work on it, doesn't work, right? And then Ash's W can critically strike, or at least it has the, 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 like, the crit thing, the crit indicator. I don't know if it actually critically strikes, but it looks like it does. And then there's Tristana's Bomb, when it explodes, it critically strikes. Or maybe it just gets bonus damage based on your, your critical strike chance. Don't remember. But Misfortune for sure. Her ultimate can critically strike. And imagine Misfortune's ultimate with this item. That would be absolutely disgusting. Maybe that's why they didn't do that. Because maybe there's not enough champions whose abilities can critically strike. right? But I think they're, they're, you know, they could have added something. What they could have done maybe is put that on Essence Reader. Right? Your abilities can now critically strike. You know, if you play TFT... If you play Arena, they have an item or a augment called Jeweled Gauntlet. They even have some items that end up giving you uh, the ability to have your your abilities to to critically strike chance, right? Uh, Infinity Edge and TFT gives you the your uh, your what the hell your abilities can now crit, right? And then in the there's I forgot what it's called jeweled gauntlet in tft something like that i don't remember don't really care nobody even uses that item unless you're like playing singer or something but yeah maybe essence reaver could have made it so that your abilities can critically strike i think that would be super cool right that would be amazing but they didn't do that and so if we look at essence reaver 65 ad that's a, that's really good 25 ability haste that's pretty good but if you look at it right, why do you want 25 ability haste when you can just get Navori? It just does the job way better. I don't know. The only reason you would get in uh, like Essence Reaver is if you want the AD. Right? But then, okay, it gives you the critical strike chance. You know, every other crit item gives you that. But then where you lose us all is the passive Essence Drain. Your basic attacks refund mana based on not not even your total ad just based off your bonus ad that is trash right what and then it has a flat 15 like no champion even goes oom anymore unless you're really using your spells 
even Lucian doesn't go um with Navori. Like, you can throw out a myriad of combos of spells, and you're not going um. So when do you ever need Essence Reaver, right? I think get rid of this Essence Drain, or you can even keep it just as, like, novelty, and then give, you know, some, give another passive, right? Like, there's some items with double passives. Is there? Maybe. I think in, like, the Mage category. Oh, I mean, uh, Static Shift has a double passive. Uh, I think, I mean, Blade of the Wind King has a double passive. Right, has a utility passive, and then has a damage passive. Static Shift has double damage passive. Right, but Essence Reaver could be better. You know, they could, I don't know, they could give it a lot. I think back in the day, it used to have Lifesteal on it. I don't think it was a crit chance item, though. I gave, it had like AD, Ability Haste, and Lifesteal, something like that. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, and then it, again, it had the same type of passive, which is just trash. I don't know what they're doing with this item. It was good. I don't know why they changed it. Like, the Sheen proc was good. People weren't buying it. What the heck, right? Doesn't make sense. But yeah. That's pretty much the Marksman items. One thing you can say is, like, people are saying Shield Bow is bad. I, I agree. The build path is it's whatever. It's pretty bad. Noon Quiver is just a, not a good item anymore. They took away the passive. They took away the attack speed. And they I think they took away 5 AD and then they gave it 5% crit chance. Like, who cares? What does this even build into? Okay, it builds into Yuntal, which has the same build. That's tragic. Uh, But, you know. Okay, we can talk about Static Shiv. Right, so Static Shiv no longer is a crit chance item, right? and okay we look at the stats it's the last patch it was a good stat item right it gave a lot of ad gave good attack speed very cheap item it used to be 2600 now it's 2900 right and then they changed the passive right so now you have to kill a minion in order to get that chain lightning effect no longer is it an energized item no longer can you hit the enemy champion with it unless you kill a minion right and then it still deals uh, uh, hitting up to six targets which is a minion wave and then only deals 90 damage and then that's on a three second cooldown this is to me i say ridiculous uh and then it has another passive where when you take when you get a takedown on champions you deal you know you do the the same lightning thing but instead it deals 270 damage like i don't know that's trash right it has no cooldown at least so if you kill you know, if you get a Wombo combo on three champions, you're going to deal, like, 710 damage, base damage, to the other two champions. Maybe if they're in the vicinity. I don't know how that works. But, yeah, this item is complete trash. The champions who used to buy it, I mean, I recently saw in MSI, some player went Static Shiv on Lucian. That's gone. People used to buy it on Zeri. Or people bought it on Zeri. That's gone. It's still a really good statistic item, but I think given the build, they want, like, on-hit champions to, to buy this item, but I don't think so. Like, maybe, like, Varus or something? I don't know, man. This item seems like trash. Like, there's so much wave clear in the game as well. Like, people only bought it on Zeri because she had no wave clear. <laughs> like, but I don't know. You know, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it with the ADC items. So, yeah. Uh, we can go to... Let's just go to the mage item. Blackfire Torch. They're bringing back the old Leandries that was a mythic. And they basically just split it up into the new Leandries. And now Blackfire's Torment. Because the new Leandries simply has the percent max of damage part of it. And then it gives you the, the bonus damage. Uh, like the old Leandries. Not the mythic one. The one before that. And then Blackfire Torch has the base damage that the Mythic Leandries had. Or even the old Leandries had a base damage as well. But yeah, Blackfire Torch, pretty good item. 90 ability power, 600 mana, 25 ability haste. If we look at other Lost Chapter items, 10 more AP than Malignants. Uh, 5 less than Ludens. And then 10 more than Archangel Staff. But Archangel Staff, when it upgrades into Seraphs, ends up giving you like 100 AP. 
So, besides that, though, the damage it gives you is you 20 flat plus 4%. That's not bad at all, right? And then it has a new passive that has never been introduced in this game. It probably has in, like, a different, maybe way back in the day. But it has uh, the Blackfire passive where for each champion, epic monster, and large monster affected by your baleful blaze this is interesting right you gain four percent ability power so obviously if you're hitting five enemy champions which is very hard you can gain 20 ability power but now you go five enemy champions plus the baron now you're getting 24 right now let's say there's no really uh Let's say you're fighting in a jungle. There's a, a large monster there, right? Big Raptor. You're fighting around Red Buff. You can get an extra 4%. That's pretty cool, right? You're fighting around Dragon. Uh, I don't know if Crab... Does Crab count as a large monster? Maybe you could use that. Oh, no. Well, yeah. This is pretty cool. I think this is a really good item, right? This will actually allow you to end up hitting 1k AP very easily obviously you have to probably hit like five enemy champions which on some champions is extremely easy especially the ones that can buy this right we're talking about like oriana we're talking about like huey syndra you know it's common to see syndra get like three man stuns with her with her uh with her stuns right and now this kind of solves the problem where syndra didn't really have an item uh, because no item really gave her damage. You only had like Ludens. But I think this item just makes Ludens pale in comparison. Like if you look at the the cooldown. Trash. If you look at the damage. Trash. Unfortunate. I would say. But. Besides that. There is like really no other changes to AP items. I'm pretty sure. Maybe a nerf here or there. I think maybe Void Staff got 10 more AP. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Nothing got changed here. All right. So the final item. Uh, Overlord's Blood Mail. I don't really have too much to say about this. I I think champions that are like Juggernauts. Right. Those are champions that stack damage. Right. And then they use like the healing they get from their damage in order to stay alive. Right. So we're looking at Alawi. Garen, maybe. Maybe Garen buys this. I doubt it, right? But a lot of people were already speculating. Scion. Mundo, specifically. These are champions that are 100% going to build a lot of HP. And they most of the damage comes from, like, basic attacks. Specifically, Mundo. Scion. The Q has a really good AD scaling. The Ultimate has a really good AD scaling. And so, this can allow them to deal a lot of damage. Especially since Scion, you know, has that passive where they will be... Gaining bonus health throughout the entirety of the game. So this is just going to have a lot more synergy, right? Similarly to like Sterax, where based on how much bonus health you have, Sterax is going to be amazing. But if you look at the build path, it's pretty trash. Double Tunneler. Like, uh, Tunneler is an okay item. It's whatever, right? When you upgrade it. For 400 gold, you gain 5 AD and 100 HP. That's not bad. I think that's, like, positive, right? That's a positive trade. Something like that. Because it'd be, like, 230 from here and then 175. It, nah, it's, it's like an even trade. So, it's not really an upgrade when you buy Tunneler. I mean, it, it is, right? Because you're, you know, less, less inventory space or whatever. Um... But still like a thousand gold and you have to have two tunnelers in your inventory. I don't know doo doo But I can see it being pretty good, right? A lot of items that are strong spear soldier is pretty strong on some champions Steric gauge is amazingly strong Black cleavers pretty strong. They ended up buffing black cleaver back to 30% Hole breaker is good in some situations. Thunder sky isn't as good anymore. It does end up having 450 HP though uh, Stride breaker is good Right, so uh, Titanic Hydra is still decent. So there, there are some um, Trinity Force is good. There are still some HP items, right, that has synergy with this and stuff like that. 
uh, and then if you end up taking grasp like i was playing Cassante the other that's the this is a game that got me whatever i was playing Cassante the other day ended up getting like 40 grass stacks which is like 280 bonus hp i think i ended the game with probably 50 maybe more so an extra 350 hp right two percent of that looking at like what seven extra ad that's pretty good like around 20 30 minutes that's whatever i guess and then you can get 10 percent increased on that i mean i don't know right something just from having grasp you know instead of taking a conquer or or uh, whatever else you would take but yeah stuff like that pretty cool pretty cool in terms of marksman i mean i would like to make a tier list on the champions but i don't necessarily think i have as much authority on that as i once did but I'll, I'll try it out. We'll see. I think, like, because on-hit champions didn't really get anything. Like, their on-hit items, like, Gwinsu and Terminus are the two strongest on-hit items. I mean, obviously, there's Kraken, but a lot of the times, like, if you're playing Ka Kog'Maw, if you're playing Varus, do you really care about the AD? Not really, but it's just a strong item, right? so i don't know these are like the core three items they didn't get anything changed outside of kraken slayer just being you know now you don't have any more crit on these items right no more crit on these items which is really good right kraken slayer used to have crit winters used to have crit no more so there's that and then where you can finish it off with double you know tank items with sen no longer has crit if you need a tenacity and mr right but yeah i mean bloodthirster no longer has crit so now you can even buy bloodthirster that's pretty good like bloodthirster terminus sounds like really strong since bloodthirster now has the the shield back on it and it gives a lot of life steal right so kraken slayer terminus bloodthirster seems pretty strong a lot of damage a lot of tankiness right and then you you top that off with like a jack show you know Right? Maybe you don't even buy Rage Blade. Right? So you go... I mean, Blade of the Roaring King got a lot of AD on it. And I think it got a bump up on its lifesteal, but the passive got toned down. Right? So is Blade of the Roaring King better than Kraken Slayer? For the early game, probably not. But Blade probably is better if you're going like a mixed damage build. Right, if you have like a lot of AP on your team, or you're an AP damage dealer like Kogmo, right? Having Blade means that they can't really itemize against you. And they can go Gwinsu's, you can go Nashers, you can go Witan, stuff like that. But yeah, if you want to do like mostly physical, right? Kraken, Terminus, Bloodthirster. Now you're very tanky, right? And then I think a lot of people do end up like going like uh, Jack Show, Titanic. You could even buy a, a locket, which gives you another amount of shielding, right? You could buy Iceborne. You know, there's, there's a couple things you could do. You know, you have a decent attack speed. The one thing, though, is that, you know, these on-hit champions, they ended up losing Lethal Tempo, which is, you know, pretty big, right? This also means that there's less range in the game, which actually makes some champions a lot better. So, we'll have to see. I don't know. But, hopefully you learned something from this. Uh, hopefully I said something that nobody else has, right? Even though this has been a little bit of a yap session. You know you know me. If you've been watching my videos that were on... Now they're unlisted, but... You know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big yapper. I'm the yapper of the year, alright? So, let me know if you have any thoughts on this. You know, I... I'm not saying I'm going to be dropping more videos, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, right? I'm going I'm going back to, to Ecuador and shit, I, I, you know, for a couple weeks, all right? Nah, it's just one week. I wish I could stay there for long. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I get robbed. Maybe I get, you know, taken for ransom and I never come back. I don't know. I hope not, you know? But have a great day. Be safe. Stay dangerous. You know, no one's free until we're all free. And I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, have a great day. Go vegan. Peace.